Hey, 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 everybody, how's it going? It's the Otter Samurai here, back with more adventures in Skyrim. So, last episode, we completed the no, College of Winter Hope quest, and we, um, ended up becoming the Archmage. All because Ancano was a, kind of a dickhole. So, we had to kill him and move on. And now we're doing the Thieves Guild goodies stuff. Oof. Safira. Ugh. So anyway, yeah, we're doing the Thieves Guild questing now. <laughs> First, we're gonna go to the Honey Inn, or Honey Mead, or whatever it's called. We got burned some bees. Thieves Guild discovered. Oh yeah, I also uh, I also uh let made some perks legendary because I decided I'm gonna um, I needed to boost my enchantment skill so I can add perks to this kind of armor. So I want my Triforce perks, damn it. I think this field keeps got a magic place to do this. No, oh, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun at the Jarl's youngest son? Yes. Here we Did go. Did we have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? I, see I can't remember. The place, traitor. Come now, brother. Don't act all high and mighty. I know you could care less about the war one way or another. The things you say are just an act to please mother. Perhaps. Come on. Perhaps not. I'm disappointed in you, brother. You had it all. You had it all. Your mouth cost you everything. At least I've chosen a side and acting like a spectator. One day you'll be forced to make a choice. Hope it's the right one, brother. <laughs> Destroy this quest item? No. Ah, <coughs> oh, damn it! Can I not? Ah, son of a bitch! I wanted to perk this armor up, but I guess not. Damn, 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 damn! Just legendary shit for no reason. Oh well. Jeez. Sorry, guys. What am I doing? Hmm. First task of memory, these go for hey, mercy. Something in here? Don't mind me, just gonna be sneaking around. <laughs> what was that? Oh shit! Wait, one too many. <laughs> I am very confused right now. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess. Both areas would have taken me to Skyrim, rather than being stuck inside Riften. But I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm outside Riften right now. Okay. <gasps> My <Whoosh>! cabbages! <laughs> <laughs> My cabbages!
Is there a secret underground entrance or something? Is that why it's coming up quicker? <laughs> nope, just same old door. <laughs> Come on. Get up there, my precious kitty. Eh? Oh, damn it. I hear near and root. Oh, yep. Over here. Never should have come here. Shit. Come <laughs> uh, I'm just a cat going for a swim. I, I don't know what. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Damn! Come on, you s There we go. Whoop. 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 More near and root. The mercenaries won't know I'm here as I roll into them. There we go. Where's the entrance? Oh, here we go. Give me the key! I locked it, picked it perfectly to get a key. I'm not going to kill any of these guys. I want them to know that they failed as a collective group. They were hired to protect his riches and stuff, and they failed. Right before their very eyes. He stole my money. He stole my everything. You mercenaries are the worst. You're all fired. I hope you never find work again. Just need to find a way to get to the damn downstairs. This way? Oh, not that way. Well, how, how the hell do we go downstairs? Oh, maybe this way. I could just straight up take this? <laughs> wow, okay. Illusion. <laughs> Definitely gonna need iron to get later on. <laughs> I 
Oh, duh, I'm stupid. Honestly, I thought it was a cell, and I'm like, why would they have a cell? Oh no, it's the door. I thought there was like a chain to pull a trap or something. I'd be like, ha, let's pull it! You're not gonna stop me. I always wanted to get like an old timey, like, cloth bag. And then, uh. Feel, get like a few quite a few dollars in coins and uh, look like I have like an old time uh, rich case or whatever don't mind me I'm just robbing the place Skip through the sewer. Nah, I'm not gonna fuck with the rats. <laughs> no reason. Have fun explaining to your boss why his safe is empty, guys. <laughs> Caught a salmon. <laughs> yeah, catch a salmon. Salmon's yummy. I love salmon. <laughs> Salmon is slamming. Ooh, something happened. Dirge told me you made it into the guild. You need dirt. Do I look like a merchant to you? Get in good with them and you'll find her. Become a full member of Thieves Guild. Damn. Wait. I know you. No, you don't. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you hear that, DP? I want you to sponsor me. Damn, so I'm gonna crash into them. They're like, ah! Doesn't really work when they're against the wall, I guess. Ragged fire! Got a minute? Wanted to say. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. Aw, thank you. I have everything hey. Back. You've made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. Oh, shit. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget. At least you remembered one of the things I asked. Shit, I forgot I was that. supposed to burn only three. Arlingoth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? <laughs> Oops. He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. <laughs> if it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for... It's just business. That's between you. Just keep your ears open and your mouth shut. 
and you'll do fine. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to burn so many of them. Like you damn cat. You burned too many fucking beehives. I said only three. Why'd you do it? Burn them all? It... Yes. <clears throat> Most entitled bitch in Skyrim. Oh, sorry. Snarky. She's lovely. All right, Maven. So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. My the apologies. only reason we're having this conversation is Maven. due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some You're sort of uncanny aptitude bitch. for your line of work. I'm Quite you. frankly, I find that hard <laughs> to believe. Oh my god. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Once again, Brynjolf sends me someone with no backbone, no determination. <laughs> Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. <laughs> I hope not. This is an important I will fuck it up this time, I, I swear. have a competitor called Hunning Grumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. And you think that I care? I don't believe in getting my hands dirty. You have people that have... Of course. Nothing... Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. You are a bitch! Oh my god! One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job and you will be sorry. I kind of want to butcher it just to see what fucking happened, this fucking bitch. Oh my god, this stupid bitch. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. Ugh. What a bitch! I need to ask you to stop. Too bad. Can't say I've heard of any laws again. I've got my eye on you. What manner of power is that? I was pissed off before. Everybody, get the fuck out of the way. Here, little. The fuck out of my way. I got a quest to do. I'm here to piss off Mavis. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Screw it. I was gonna be a thick as Can't thieves kind of drinking. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's captain of the guard. And we're going to poison the mead. Oh. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabyarn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? Yep. You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabyarn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on <coughs> the pests, but you're also... Maven and I spent weeks planning this. Now get going before Sabyarn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna fuck this up. <laughs> Keep walking, soft gut. I'm more woman than you can handle. Bitch! I don't think so. I gotta talk to my boys, see how they're doing. What do you need, my Thane? Oh, 
This is... This is great! It's everything I could have asked for! I... I know it's not much, but... I found a few little things. I put them in the chest in my room. If you see anything you want, take it. You've done so much for me. It's the least I can do. Dragon's Reach is so cool. You got me... Thanks. All right, Francois. Where's your brother, Sam? Lars is such a milk drinker. He can't even stand up to a girl. What is it? What is? You're the best. Thanks. Hey, Pa. Hey, guys. I'm off to adventure. All right. Be safe. Lydia, take care of my kids, or I will kill you. Honored to see you again, my Long life to you, Thane. Get... Get back in the house. Farewell. Get back in the house. Go watch my kids. <sighs> Bitch. I'm assuming over here. No, actually, right here. <laughs> how the fuck did you make me figure out how to make nature carver? What are you gawking at? Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. I can help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you just do it at... I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Okay, okay. <laughs> no Skiver! rash decisions. Here's half. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it... Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess. All right. Okay, so I think I have to do the VAT. I was kind of hoping to see maybe he could just do this and not do the VAT. See how Mavis would be pissed off. Not. You didn't do the goddamn job! That's it, I'm getting the Dark Brotherhood on you. Whoa! Yeah, boy! Piss off, Skeever. Ah, oh, crap. This is the only problem I have with the, uh... Alright. Alright.
purity. Oh yeah, this will be going for a while. Fine! Damn, how deep does this cavern run? Like, holy hell, guys. Do you not, like, seal off the damn area? <laughs> Hamlin, you son of a bitch. I kind of want to fuck this up, just like, I'm not going to poison this. But I, I'm gonna. Ah, it's just 35 gold, not a big deal. Ah, uh, damn it. Malice is teaching me everything he knows about Ruin. Hopefully, I can take over it. If you need to sample some of the finest meat in the sky, was well, something we did. Well, it's about time. I had to stall. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait I around. I can't wait to see Savjorn squirm. Let's, uh... Let's just turn that off now. For a while. Well, Savjorn. Now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, Mr. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you will find it quite <laughs> Oh, come <laughs> on. This is <laughs> some wine that sipped and savored. <laughs> By the eight. What? What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? Sal, ah! you assured me this place was clean. <laughs> I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. He's got to go home and take a shit. The rat poison is like a laxative. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. Ah! You, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. 
This is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, Sabjorn. Who's that? <laughs> Later. I don't think that could have gone any better. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Sweet, thanks. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Oh, upstairs. Got it. I did it all by myself. Did I do good, bitch mommy? Look at the book. Oh, shit. Whoops. That's my treat now. But was, I, did I steal some random shit? <sighs> Guess I don't need the girl's dress. Turn it down. I don't need a werewolf pelt, that's just silly. Did I do good this time? Maybe if now you won't be such of a bitch. When night descends upon Skyrim, werewolves descend upon the unwary. Dumbasses. <laughs> hey, Mavis, you hoe bag. I did it right this time, so, uh, piss off, lady! If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a... Ooh, I like this ambiance. I trust you have good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabjorn's partner is this odd little symbol. Yeah. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, you should bring this information. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your uh, services. Uh, no shit. Give me actual money. I want actual money. I don't want this stupid piece of shit sword. I'm just gonna disenchant it anyway. Did I put the sounds back? Okay. I was about to say, I thought I put it back normal.
Ragged fun up. Every time I see Ragged Fra Ragged Ragged Fuck. Ragged Flagon, it just reminds me of the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Where Billy's out having a picnic well, with his uh, Grim and Mandy. And then I know where Bigfoot comes and goes, Raggle Fraggle! And he just grabs him right away. And it turns out it's just Billy, Dad, and his guys that do the thing every whole time. It's like, Raggle Fraggle! Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Let me bust him out. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Yeah. Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new threat <coughs> on our side. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Scoundrels folly. Yo, Mercer, what's up, buddy? Ah, there you are. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Clever go. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obvious. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. A hefty because fine. Even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. No, that's wrong. The parchment you recovered <laughs> mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Slimy bastard. Does he have the precious? Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there. Shake him down. See what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. <sighs> no, I'm not going to speak to Brynjolf. I don't need to. Kick Argonian ass, that's all I gotta do, right? Ah, shit! Man, I love Dr. Pepper. It's like the best soda in the world. Nothing compares to it. Being old's not so bad. Don't care. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Get the hell out of my way. So, what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them. Damn it! Or, by your scent, I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Bullshitter. Hasn't Mercer frayed? You kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. All right. Had I known <laughs> this deal would bring me this much trouble, I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. However, I did notice she was quite angry. 
it was being directed at Mercer Frey. Hmm. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much mm. coin we carry. <laughs> I think you're lying. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Will you get off your ass and go? Oh man, I'm too fast for him. I'm gonna embarrass you so fucking much, dude. <laughs> you're gonna come in and you're gonna be like, why are you naked? I'm not naked, I have it. Ah, oh, shit. Can I do it again? <laughs> You're gonna come in naked, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Man, I hope Elder Scrolls 6 comes with actual nudity. It's an M rated game already, might as well go all the way. Doesn't have to have sex involved, just make people naked. I mean, if Capcom can add balls to their do zombie dogs, I'm pretty sure Bethesda can add do ding dongs to their male characters here. Right, you slimy bastard. Are up there? Get out of my way! I'm trying to follow this nudist. Get my face up in his Argonian ass. Now comes the slow portion of our playthrough. <coughs> Ooh, there's a temple that way. But I gotta follow this bitch.
<laughs> There's no problem for the master lock picker like me. Ah, shit, he got his clothes back. Hey, let's fix that. <laughs> I didn't say you could come in here like this. Whoa. Fucking goat. Might as well go first person in here. Be easier. Go, will you go away? <coughs> Fucking goat. I think that's the end goal over there. If the camera up there makes it look like I'm intently staring at his ass, you're kind of correct. Look at those slimy lizard cheeks. Ha ha ha! Whoa, what the hell? What the hell was that? I'm picking out the straight vibrations. Noble clothes. Not the same thing as emperor robes. Get to the damn spot, I know you want to. Look, I'll just go ahead of you, because you're frankly going too goddamn slow. Oh shit. Supposed to be in here. How the fuck did you? You didn't see this me. Is the last time I'll say it. Get out. God, you trespasser. Never <coughs> should have come here. Yo, what the fuck? Staying out of this. God, another fight. I'm getting out. Of <laughs> Where are you? Bitch! You asshole! <laughs> I'm trying to tail this guy and you just come sneaking in. Good thing he's not phased by it. How did he see me though? I was invisible sneaking. I was like invisible sneaky sneaky.
What? No! No! <laughs> no! No! Ah! Now I can go killing, killing. <laughs> Down. That's both of me. Be careful. <laughs> I will claw the eyes out of whoever did this. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> Can't let you do that. I like my eyes. They're pretty blue color. to do any this isn't as bad as it seems i was gonna tell mercer about everything honestly please he'll have me killed tell me the truth and i'll all right all right it's carlia her name is carlia mercer never told you about her carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guild master gallus oh shit now she's after mercer and you're helping her help no no Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, Mercer never t Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she- I heard enough. <laughs> they be like, you pissed me off for the last time. I've contacted the Dark Brotherhood to kill you. Hello, Dark Brotherhood. Let me speak to your leader. Hi. You? You lead the Dark Brotherhood? Uh, yep. So, who, who did you want to hit again? I put a hit on? Come on. Tell me. I can wait. Hey, kitty. Poos! Hey, second. First time, yeah. They're not supposed to be in here. How in the five hells did you see me?
Ah, it's a beautiful day. Perfect for murder. Why does that keep sounding like a freaking dragon's attack? They usually don't attack you, Tails. Hey, Brynjolf. What did you need? Nothing. I forgot, I was supposed to talk to Mercer, not you. I thought it was painfully obvious that Gullamai... No, it, it can't be. <laughs> this is grave news God, indeed. Painfully obvious. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we <laughs> discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's back. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. Where the end began. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. Let's go. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Quickly, what do you want? We need quick killing our contracts. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. You keep destroying our contracts. You're pissing off our guild. Yet you get the job done. I don't know whether to kill you or praise you. I wonder why I didn't show up on the map earlier. Whatever. Oh, it's up north. <clears throat> Wreck of the Edmunds Fitzgerald. I mean, uh... Namira. Bye, me da 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 Bitch! Let's see how far my voice can reach with these fat Whoosh. fucks. Whoosh. Ah. <laughs> Hit all three! This is for making that movie Tusk with Jason Justin Long. That movie was a freaking travesty. It was disgusting. <laughs> those, well, those workers had nothing to do with Tusk. Yeah, but they made me think of Tusk every time I see him. That way they have to die.
Whoa! What the fuck, goat? I don't like spooky goats that just pop out of nowhere. That shit's fucking psycho. Yo, Mercer, let's do it. Good. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she... Just make certain you keep your eyes open. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. <laughs> keep your eyes open, your mouth shut. I'm gonna hit all the traps. Just to piss you off, Mercer. Ugh. Mercer, hurry your ass up. Let's go inside. Presence busy. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. This one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how, not a lot of skill. You know what's not impenetrable? Do it. My ass. My ass. Carlia's been through a year. What does she expect to find? She expects to find death. Stenchion here. This place smells like death. What? What is it? I have a long stint. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in house. Aha! Wait. Oh, that leads to nothing. Never mind. I guess because Mercer Frey's here. Damn it, I can't pickpock him. Boost! Have your weapon at the ready. I'm certain Carlia knows we're here. Yeah, of course, if I hit every single trap, just, you know... Carlia reset all of the traps. <laughs> what happened, Mercer? You said not to hit any of the traps, so what the fuck did you do? Ow. Die. Die! Get, 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 move. Uh, something near. Mercer, come here. So it begins. Hardly a challenge. You didn't do shit, Mercer. Come here, come here, come here. Step right here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. This better be important. Come here. Come here. Why don't you step on this? Step on the bear trap. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mercer. Come on, Mercer. Come on, step on the trap. Come on, step on the trap. Come on, come on. Damn it. Alright, screw it. Whatever. 
We'll find the next major trap and have you step on it. Two more of them ahead. Bye! Over here. So, uh, Mercer, what happened to not hitting all the traps, huh? <laughs> kind of doing a piss poor job here, buddy. Our presence, anybody here? Must you keep stopping? Yes, because you're in the way, you asshole. Bye! Doing this on my own. get through. Mama. Sir, don't don't bother the drugger. I got him. You're just a weak shrimp. Hardly a challenge. Bye. Let's see how you get through. We're on the right track. She's been through here as well. Mm -hmm. Don't even think about it. in here weapon disarm dead arm no disarm Kradin the hell kind of spell was that
Bye. Uh, what's the object? Is it up here? I was gonna say, don't tell me I actually need Mercer. <laughs> Dragon Claw, where are you at? Alright, Mercer, you bitch. I guess I need you. Come on. <laughs> Why didn't you get hit? Look, I don't have the claw to this, and I don't think it comes with the claw. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How oh, quaint. quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlia already did away with it, we're on our own. <laughs> Fortunately, these doors have a weakness, if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlia's close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. Ah! What the fuck? What? Ah. The hell? Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. <coughs> to ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Ugh. Not quick enough, otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth, and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Wait, is Russell Frey the bad guy? I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Ugh. <laughs> oh, thank you. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. Oh, you asshole! But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. That's Farewell. Just... I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Eh. He's got an asshole face. Ugh! Well, I guess that's the end of Skyrim, everybody. Thank you so much. It was a fun journey, but I guess that's the end. Uh, oh, we're alive. We're alive. 
Easy. Easy. Oh. Don't get up so quickly. How are I... you feeling? I feel like shit. No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Why save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. Hmm. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. <coughs> Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. What? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. English? Enther. <laughs> Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Mm. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Remember, speak only to Enther. Trust no one else. Alright, I think this is a good place to stop for tonight's episode of Skyrim. Everybody, yes. thank you so much there for following much along. What is it? If you missed any of the action, the episode will be on my YouTube channel later, The Otter Samurai. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Please See ya! Much to do.